we found is, and this is through just watching this for, you know, about a year now, that the cleaner way, the cleaner information, we believe, comes from the SPY. And if you trade, even if you just trade ES, you want to keep an eye on the Qs as well, because there are, you know, if, if tech starts moving, if the NASDAQ starts moving, S&P is likely going to go with it, right? And vice versa. So when you start to break down what's happening in the spiders, the best way to use this order flow at a high level is to look for how the hero acts at our major levels. So in this case, we said today, you know, 4,000 is our call wall. This is major resistance that's in our notes, right? So when the market hits that level, what is the order flow that comes into the market as we hit that level? Obviously, the purple line here says negative delta trading, right? And that has happened in sort of two waves, right? We saw it sharply here as we tested 400 in the S&P, the spiders market breaks down, right? That flow shuts off as in, and I say it shuts off. <clears throat> I mean that this hero line trades sideways. Let's say that that predominant order flow, which I'm going to guess is call selling. We'll see that in a second. Whatever the order flow is, it shuts off, right? We get down to 395. Look at the order flow changes the long deltas and the market rallies back up. And then we hit again, as we hit SPX 4,000, the order flow starts to change negative again, right? It's, it's a very clear pattern. You could see that, right? This is options, delta sellers, call sellers, put buyers, boom, down to 395. Then all of a sudden we go to call buyers, put sellers, boom. And then we flip back, call sellers. As we hit 400, you can see it's very, it's clear as day, right? Big call selling and put buying. Both of these, the blue line down is put buyers, orange line down is call sellers. Market flattens out. All of a sudden, people come in, they sell the puts. Maybe these are short-dated puts, right? Market rallies again, and then we kind of transition to lighter, but we're still call selling, arguably, back into this level. So <clears throat> using that order flow to confirm resistance is what I think is most valuable for, right? We've also seen times where there's structural bottoms in the market, right? Where all of a sudden, you'll just see put big blocks of put sales go off, big, huge put buying, and you go, okay, I get what's going on here, right? We're at resistance and people are selling, or excuse me, we're at support, and people are selling puts, this thing's going to rally, and I can use that as confirmation. We also like to watch the VIX, right, as another, like we call it like a three-legged stool, resistance line. What's the hero doing? Is it confirming my order flow? What is the VIX doing? VIX down, market up is the standard way to consider implied volatility, implied volatility's impact in the market. <clears throat> you can see here that the VIX hit lows, right, and stalled, and I'm guaranteeing you that's right around where the spiders pulled into or S&P pulled into the 4,000 level. So I don't really like that view, but let me zoom in here a little bit more. So again, here's 400 in the S&P. The VIX stalls out, right? Vol sellers, this is kind of signaling that volatility sellers have backed off as we hit, hit the 400 level. We're back on. Vol comes back down. This is a vol for sale. That's a benefit to the market. 